Cheryl Burke lost the love of her life. It's been an emotional roller coaster, so that was really difficult. Her first love brought her pain and separation. She fell in love with Matthew Lawrence, but they split 10 years ago. We broke up and we didn't even run into each other. I didn't think he was gonna respond at all, or right away at least. Now People I can just say. focus on my career. 10 years later, she met Matthew again. But is it possible to maintain love so long? It's just such a refreshing thing in a relationship. I don't believe in that. It's still something that I'm trying to get through. Are Cheryl and Matthew happy? Although Cheryl was a dancing partner to Matthew's brother, Cheryl and Matt didn't meet on the show. These two lovebirds noticed each other much later. I just thought he was very handsome. Good looking dude. We started talking on the phone first. I was like in my bunk bed talking to you a That's lot. That's right, yeah. yeah, we talked a lot. Matthew still can't forget the day they first met. I met you on tour. I'll never forget it actually because I was outside of the buses. Everyone else was, I think, still in their shoes. Oh, and were, I was like in Uggs. And you were in like little slippers, so you were so small. <laughs> I was captivated. Soon the couple stopped dating because Cheryl was too busy with work. When we, we broke up and we didn't even run into each other once, which is crazy because we used to live very close. My sister and my family always loved Matt and they're like, well, what happened to Matt? Cheryl's sister took the initiative and wrote to Matthew. My sister basically took my phone and started the text message. I didn't think he was going to respond at all or right away at least, and he did. And it was a bunch of emojis. But did Cheryl still have feelings for Matt? The next day, you texted me, and we just started dating again. We saw each other like every day. We dated for about a year and a half before we got engaged. Just a year later, Matthew asked Cheryl to be his wife. But was it the right time for an engagement? It was my birthday. A lot of stuff has happened to me this year. My father passed away in March. In these difficult moments, only Matt supported Cheryl. She realized she could rely on him, no matter what happens. And then Sorry. this happened in May with the engagement, and then I'm back on Dancing with Stars. So it's been an emotional roller coaster, but it's so far it's been a great one. So Aww. it's been, it was really romantic. But was Cheryl ready to become a wife? Can it, you believe I'm I married? I can't believe you're married. I know. For Cheryl, it was hard to imagine being a bride. Her mom and dad had a complicated relationship. It left her with a bleeding wound and a fear of marriage. I think I was so damaged as a kid through just the divorce of my mom and dad. Um, and so that was really difficult. I guess I had this kind of like, wait, dad, you loved somebody else? But Cheryl felt that her alliance with Matt would be very strong. Our married life is amazing. It just, you know, it feels right. It feels like, I, it just feels peaceful. You know, I feel at ease and um, I just love feeling this feeling of being settled. This long pause was for the better. I mean, we never ran into each other once, which is so weird in the decade that we didn't see each other. But um, yeah, it's, it just feels right. Yeah. Older, right. wiser, lot, a lot older. Cheryl and Matthew were crazy in love. How does it feel to be back together and just be happy? It's great. It's really great because we are happy. It's just such a refreshing thing in a relationship, you know, just for it to be great and everybody be happy. Despite Cheryl being head over heels in love, she is still a workaholic. Isn't Matthew afraid she won't have time for her family? But he doesn't mind his wife doing what she loves. Now I can just focus on uh, my work life, I guess you could say, but he's super supportive. You know, Matt's been through um, the show with me before, you know, so it's it's a lot of work and he's, I don't think I would have been able to do it though without his support. Are Matt and Cheryl ready to share their love? Are they planning on having kids? Or I love kids. kids. No, I definitely want babies and I need to start getting to that soon because I'm 35 years old. Surely she'd be a good mother. I don't scream or yell. I don't believe in that, but you know, don't get me wrong, I'm still, you know, from people that have seen me on Dancing with Stars, I am still strict. Matt and Cheryl aren't used to spending a lot of time indoors. Could their marriage pass the lockdown test? He's got his out, outdoor man cave, I got my indoor woman cave. I think it's so important to still be able to do your own thing, you know, and still have your own hobbies and um, interests, whatever they are. Don't they spend time together at all? Despite the fact that they give each other personal space, they love spending time together. But then you come together, like we still have date night once a week. What is the secret to this lovely couple? Just the, the constant communication. When you stop that communication and when you, you don't try every day is when things start to slowly fall apart, you know? I think that's really important. And here is the main key to such a strong bond. It's, it's love. love.
Do you think it is possible to keep love after such a long pause?